The Seattle Seahawks enter the fourth quarter of the regular season with a week 14 test coming up against the New York Jets. What's going on? Jackie Montgomery with your Seahawks Daily. Well, Pete Carroll always preaches it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And now with the fourth quarter of the NFL season upon us, the team will try to correct the mistakes they've made over the last few weeks and finish the season off strong. Well, we've shown some vulnerability, you know, that eight and four, you know, that we, we can get let some games get away from us um, when we really have high expectations to play well every time out and in and find a way to win. It, it certainly can happen. You got you got to get everything done every week, and it doesn't matter who you're playing or where you're playing. You got to play good football, and you got to finish it out. And games are really hard, and they're really challenging, and we got to be on it. Um, what also I see, I see a really improving defense, continuing to make progress. There was just a little span in there in the third quarter where we 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 gave up a big run and a couple runs right after that, then it shut back down again. And we played other than that, we played a really really complete game. And and uh, but it was too much in this in this matchup. Um, so I'm I'm pleased that we keep getting better. So we got to get going. And a big opportunity to finish. Everything's out ahead of us. It's like the season's starting all over again. Defensively, the team has really turned things around since the start of the season. Thanks to an increasingly aggressive pass rush, since week 8, the Seahawks lead the NFL with 24 sacks. And since week 10, Seattle ranks 8th in the league, allowing just 9.5 points per game. Just kind of stay in the course and just kind of just keep believing. You know, I think there was a stretch in there where we were just... You know, we were playing good defense, but when it got to that fourth quarter, we were giving up so many yards and and uh, just understanding that what we were doing was working. We just have to figure out a way to sustain it over the whole game. And so I think we've done that um, in more stretches than we were doing in the beginning of the game. And, you know, I think everything works together. You know, you start getting sacks, then it makes the back end not have to cover as long. And, you know, it creates juice and energy. And so I think we're just all feeding off of each other. And it's just uh, really good to see. And I think we have four games left to to take that up another notch. If you've been watching us the whole year, I mean, we've been kind of in and out with injuries. The whole group hasn't really played together a lot. We had different guys come in and out. Uh, now you get a little more, more co cohesiveness. Guys are playing together week after week, and you see much improvement. Um, uh, the rush is better. The run defense had been better except for the last game. Just the, the continuity, the communication, the consistency over a period of time has been better. So it's no question that now's the time uh, we're, we're peaking at the right time. Guys are communicating and playing well consistently at the right time. And now these last four games, one game at a time is, is, what, is the time to put it all together. And all the expectations that we've had the entire season, uh, now they should come, come for us at this time. Now's the time for us to uh, put everything together we expected to happen that took so long to happen. We should, uh, this should be in a position now to, to finish really strong. On the offensive side of the ball, they are coming off their worst performance of the season, but the team recognizes the problems and they're looking to get back to being an efficient offense. We didn't execute the way we normally do. Uh, we know we need to coach better. We know we need to play better. Uh, but the bottom line is this, you, you look at the film, you're always learning, right? Whether you win, and score 35 points or whether you lose and halfway through the game you're at five points. You're always trying to learn and grow and get better. Uh, I think we've never lost faith that we're a really good offense and that uh, we'll bounce back. Well, I don't think we're crazy off track. I just think that we have to do a couple things. We have to be a little bit sharper, uh, stay on schedule. I think taking, you know, we've had a few sacks here and there. They've, you know, we, we got back on track uh, the two games before we felt like. You know, even the Eagles game where we felt like we really could have scored a, a bunch of points where we had those two, op two, two touchdown opportunities plus the one that got called back, you know, and so that changes it. Uh, I, think they, I think they played a better game than us last week. I, I, I can't, you know, after watching the film, they just played a really good game. They had a really good game plan, and they did a pretty good job doing it. You know, we, we adjusted later on, you know, um, a little too late, we felt like, and that's really all it was. So I think for us, uh, just keep believing. we got f four games to go. we got this one this week. It's a championship opportunity for us, and we're lo really looking forward to to um, just playing really good football. It really feels like the season starts all over again right now. You know, we look at where we are and all. It's, it, it's, a, it's a great fourth quarter coming up if, if, if we can make it so. So we're going to go for it. And we'll do that one week at a time. Well, with the final quarter of the season starting this Sunday against the Jets, the team will look to get back on track. Kickoff is set for 1.05 p.m. Pacific, and you can watch it live on CBS.